And this session, the Maine legislature could see a bill that will make a significant move toward being an offshore wind energy powerhouse. News Center Maine's David Guilford breaks down the promises and the concerns in Augusta. A new bill aims to place enough floating wind turbines in the Gulf of Maine to produce the same amount of energy as a nuclear power plant. It's a bold, long-term plan and one taking place in the controversial waters off our coast. The stakes are high. The need to move away from fossil fuels for climate change and economic reasons is urgent. Democratic Senator Mark Lawrence unveiling a new bill Tuesday, continuing the goals of Governor Mills' offshore wind roadmap, but charting a bold course for the future. I think the more ambitious we set the goal, the more we're going to encourage investment from the private sector. Research would determine how many floating turbines go in the Gulf. Stewart admitted ratepayers would help fund it, but claims it would benefit them in the end. The long-term goal is to get to a point where rates will stabilize and we won't have to pay for fossil fuels down the road. Fossil fuels are only going to increase in the future. Yeah, I'm totally for renewable energy when it's smart and when it's economical. Republican Senate Minority Leader Trey Stewart hadn't yet read the bill, which is still being written, but said the most important thing was a good deal for Mainers. What's the kilowatt hour rate? How is this going to impact your bill? I'm confident that offshore wind can successfully coexist with wildlife in the Gulf of Maine. Maine Audubon Sarah Haggerty explained that the bill requires plans to monitor and limit impacts on animals. Maine's historic fishing business looms as well. While some feel they're being pushed out to make room for turbines, the bill's framers insist fishermen have a say in this process. We share the concerns of the fishing industry to make sure that the siting is done well here. The bill doesn't have an official title yet, but is already slated for much debate. David Guilford, New Center, Maine. If the bill's current language is passed, the Public Utilities Commission would be expected to start accepting bids by mid-2025.